Born to Fail So many I meet and discuss things with extol the virtues of exchanging to survive, of accounting for our energy added. If you have nothing to give, you can't have mine. The psychopaths who presently run this planet have engendered the idea that to be truly happy about creating with our energy, we must get something tangible in return. When humanity lived in scarcity where all hands were needed to get necessary things done and skaters were scorned, it made sense to expect proof of effort. But today, though the psychopaths maintain an artificial scarcity by use of accounting for our energy, we could feed, clothe, and house us all many, many times over. The biggest issue by far, though, is the motive to give as little as possible for the most in return. This in turn promotes shoddy work, made specifically to fail. Why would products be made to fail or to become obsolete? So that more can be sold, of course. More profit can be made. Planned obsolescence is what they call it. Everything produced is designed to run out, become obsolete breakdown in lowest quality, cheapest production. Profit reigns over perfection. How can we design this so it breaks and they have to come back for a new one? All of the products we can afford are born to fail. And with all these things designed to cease functioning, become useless, we throw out more than we retain and the waste builds at a furious rate. And then, the psychopaths in control blame us, blame humanity for the waste we create, when in fact it is their choice to make things that will not last. They own the bulk of the manufacturing and production, designing crap to sell to the useless eaters, as they call us, our only function being Feeding them, the useless eliters, profit. Consider what our planet would look like if all the goods produced were made to highest standards, engineered to last, built with strength and not weakness in mind. How much waste would not be seen? How much would not be dumped into landfills? How much would our environment not be damaged? Profit means money. The accounting for our energy added into their system, whether the accounting is done with baskets of blueberries or electronic bits. Irrespective of whether we are trading, bartering, or using any representational token, the motive to do as little as possible for the greatest profit is strong. Competition is promoted rather than cooperation, and it's been this way for a very long while. What if? What if we did not have to account for our energy added? What if we all could live as richly as we choose, ethically solving for problems cooperatively? Where what we do is measured by quality, and we earn renown for the quality of our work. Where attention, thanks, and admiration are the payment. Where innovation towards perfection is celebrated, not suppressed to maintain profits and control. In fact, they hide and suppress the technologies that would give us the option of living as we choose, that would enrich humanity everywhere. They hide it specifically to maintain profits and control. For without the accounting for our energy added, without money to bind us, they lose control, and profits come in social currency which they are poor in. Profits like appreciation, respect, reputation, fame, love, adoration, bragging rights, and other social riches. Where your behavior defines the riches you receive, be nasty, rude, brutish, and the like, and you will earn scorn, avoidance, disgust. 
choose your behavior unethically, and you will receive ethical consequences, meted by those who care. Unethical behavior is anything breaking the three laws of ethics. Willfully hurting or killing another, taking or damaging things that you don't own, and defrauding others without fully informed consent will be dealt with. Where material wealth is abundant for all, you may choose how you live from a cave as a hermit to extravagance in social circles. Where you can do what it is you love to do without a thought of having to afford it. In truth, without the waste, with new technologies, our planet could support a thousand times the number here now. Despite the ghastly picture they paint in their climate change psyop, and they will come at us with that psyop and try to lock us down again for it. If we are to prevail, we must stop obeying their arbitrary and manipulative mandates, withdraw our consent from being ruled by anyone. For once we abdicate our sovereignty to another, that other will take advantage of the power we have given them. And governmental power will see the psychopaths vying for it. They have very strong motive to have that power and control. Far better to consent to a way of doing things that does not require us to give up our sovereignty, that frees us to fulfill our potential. To follow our bliss, to make our dreams come true. And which has no motive to make crap for profit, rather than quality for accolades, which encourages our best, not bashing us into a mold of their choosing. The arts and sciences will flourish, the freedom relished, and the waste we create will be minimal and handleable. Nothing will be made to fail. To do so would only cause one to lose the positive social reception, earning ridicule, disgust, and being ignored. For details on the blueprint for a society that does not have to account for the energy we add, that encourages creative expression and quality output, see my playlist on Odyssey, link in description if this platform allows, or the list on uToilet. If you have to account for your energy to another to survive, you are not free, you are a slave. Let's stop being slaves. Written, voiced, and produced by Amaterasu Salar, Shill for Humanity. Love always. Humanity will win. <laughs>